And interesting to see a bit of a run there. Ty Tulio to Edmonton, Evan Veerling as well. So it's an interesting run of OHL players making their way to the National Hockey League clubs. Evan Veerling also going to the New York Rangers. Some call him a poor man's Ryan Nugent Hopkins. He plays badminton, soccer, basketball, baseball. He also likes swimming. Evan Veerling of the Barry Colts is with me now. Evan was drafted in the fifth round, 127th overall, by the New York Rangers. Just off the top, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, did you have any expectations at all heading into the draft? Are you a player who pays attention to rankings or anything? Yeah, I think um, for sure. I think anyone's lying if they say they, they don't, uh, you know, kind of keep track of the rankings and stuff like that. But uh, at the end of the day, you never know. And um, yeah, I'm just so grateful that uh, I was able to hear my name called. Well, you, you headed to Barry midway through last season and, nestled into that top centerman role right away, uh, earned an impressive 34 points in 28 games. What can be said about this past season and your progression as a sophomore in the OHL? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I stepped into Barry and um, my teammates and, and coaches uh, believed in me from day one. And, uh, you know, I, I was able to prove to them that, um, you know, I was able to, to put up numbers and um, be the be the top centerman. So um, it, it worked out great. And, you know, getting to share this uh, this whole experience with your line mate, Tyson, uh, I'm sure you guys have developed quite a friendship. And how nice was it just to have him there to kind of uh, lean on a bit and and talk to about the whole process? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, me and him are, are roommates on the road. And um, to see him, you know, go 23rd overall to, to Philly was awesome. And, um, you know, I think we have some really good chemistry. And, um, you know, I hope that we can continue that uh, for years to come. What kind of advice or tips uh, were you able to get from any other OHL players who had been through this already? I'm thinking having a guy like Ty Delandria on your team and Flint to begin with, uh, someone someone like him who's a really good leader. Did you learn anything from him about uh, about the whole process? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, he he taught me a lot, and um, I think just one thing that that came from him was um, that it's 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 a long season and. Um, you know, you're going to get opportunities and, um, you know, there's there's so many things that are going to come your way and you just have to, to deal with it and, um, you know, just do your best with it. So, Is there anyone on Barry or maybe on Flint uh, you'd like to thank just for helping you become the player you are today or someone who really had an Im who's really had an impact on you? Yeah, I think this past season, um, someone that had a big impact was Todd Miller, the head coach of, uh, of Barry, I think. Um, he, he was awesome. And, um, you know, he believed in me, um, right when I arrived in Barry and, um, you know, I couldn't uh, thank him enough. Uh, well, of course the hard work continues now. What's next for you in terms of goals? Yeah, I think, um, my goal next year is to obviously, um, go back to Barry and, and have a big role there and, um, have, have success as a team and hopefully go deep into the playoffs and, and eventually, um, win an OHL championship. Barry's uh, kind of an up and coming younger team. What do you think we can expect for them next next season? I think um, we're a young team with with uh, you know a lot of skill, and um, I think uh, I think our our, our guys are going to be ready to go when whenever the season may come. So um, I think it's going to be an exciting year for us. Just a couple words on what it's like to be drafted to such a historic franchise like the New York Rangers. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, so far, it's been been a pretty crazy week obviously and um and to be drafted to new york is just uh is obviously an unbelievable feeling all right and to wrap things up do you have a favorite moment or favorite memory over the past two ohl seasons yeah i think um my favorite memory was probably scoring my first uh ohl goal um almost two years ago now so um that's a moment i definitely will never forget it's always a good one. All right, Evan. Well, we'll end it there. Congratulations once again. And thank you so much for your time. Take care. Thank you.